Keep going, 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 keep Sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> debating in order to go down there or not. I mean, it is cold, but uh, I kind of want to get that shot. It'd be cool with the waves right there, but uh, it's freezing. Woo. Okay. Got the shot. It's cold. Let's go. Oh, uh, no. I was going to go up here just because this place is like super cool. Kind of looks like a fortress, like an old abandoned fortress, but it's actually a beach park house or something. Thought I was going to be able to go up here, but no. Look at that. It'd be a cool shot for me. I still don't want me getting that shot today. I mean, I could jump that. It, no. It's not worth it. Let's stay legal. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Southside Fishing. I'm Brian, and I am here with Nick. Saw it. And today we are going over to a warm water discharge, and we are planning on bottom rigging for carp as well as throwing spoons for brown trout. We're going to try to bottom rig either corn or night crawlers or that sort of bit. And right now it's really it's very early January, and hopefully we'll get some browns. If not, you know that we've seen a lot of carp cruising around uh, this area that we're going to. So it's kind of early morning, and hopefully we'll get some stuff, and we'll see you there. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome to the spot. We are currently at a warm water discharge over here in Whiting, Indiana. It's The weather is actually pretty darn nice. It is a bit sunny out and usually when it's sunny, at least with like salmon such as coho salmon, they usually disperse out. I can't say that's going to be the same case for brown trout, however, eh, we're pretty hopeful. It is pretty, it is definitely pretty sunny out. Yep, 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 yep. Next time you feel a heavy head, made it to the spot this is not my route this is brian's beautiful ex or e6x salmon rod we're gonna get stuff first. right his first g loomis so he's gonna be his first time testing the g loomis i told him he was gonna love it so hopefully he does oh yeah so we got a bottom rig with corn for carp i chummed a little bit unaffectively probably we'll be casting some spoons some browns and you know whatever else wants to eat one i am using seven foot five medium heavy G Loomis C6X. It's actually a worm and jig rod, but hey, who cares? On that, I have the Corrado DC, of course. And just in case I something goes down with this reel, if it breaks or anything like that, or backlashes, got another. Are you fly fishing? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yep, 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 I saw that. No, that wasn't me. I know. I saw it. And my rod, my bottom rod just got hit by something. Oh, 
I broke off my fucking, uh, so I'll throw a bobber on my baitcaster? Yes. Okay. You got split shots? No. Yeah, I kind of do when I'm casting a Yeah, next time he picks it up, I'm freaking jacking him. I got him, baby. Yes! Get the camera. Get the camera. Don't get your phone, camera. I got him. Yes, baby. Finally. Finally, we got one. Finally. Here we go, baby. I got him. I got him. I'm going to keep him out of the current, actually, because that's where he wants to go. That's where he wants to go is the current. I'm not letting him go to the current. Oh, he's a big one, too. Oh, he's big, dude. He's big. He's big. I see him. Or he might. I don't know how what's big for a cart, but he's pulling pretty hard. Whoa! Whoa! There we go, baby. Well, now we don't have a net. <laughs> Look at that, baby. That's a carp and a half right there. There we go. First fish of 2019, too. So what I did, don't get out of those rocks. What I did is I just held my rod. I held my rod, and as soon as I felt him bite, I jacked him. Cause that way, no way, there was no way that he could uh, he could spit that bait out in time. So what I'm gonna do? about a three four pounder not a huge carp but a carp to start this day out and he's fighting i don't know why people wouldn't want to catch these i don't know where to how to land them there we go right in the top Here we go. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, he's right in the top of the mouth too. He's not going anywhere. I'm just trying to see how I can get over here. This way. Yeah, I see it. These rocks are slippery too. Very slippery. So, yeah, he wasn't going anywhere, dude. Here we go. All right. Ah! No. Put that there. It's like I was saying. My water's still pretty cold though. Hey, 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 no, stop. Alright, we're gonna let him back now. Here we go. We've had probably 20 bites and missed them all. Finally, I hold my rod when I see my, my rod getting bit. And as soon as it gets bit again, I yank it and it gets hooked right in the top of the mouth. Carp are really finicky biters, so they're really pretty cool. hard to hook actually, so. Look at my pants, dude. Here, boys. 
up, keep him up, don't let him go to rush. Whoa! Whoa! Yes, baby, that's what we're talking about! <laughs> yes! Keep, keep him up, keep him up, keep him up. Keep him up, bro. Get him in this little cove when he's good, he's gone. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> My GoPro got like four percent left. I got this. Get his head into these rocks above you. I don't you. think I'm trying to do it. A little slow. It's easy. It's easy. Backwards. He, he's cooking the mouth good. He, he, he could shake it soon, dude. He the only, no, he's good hooked. The only thing I'm worried about is the line. Yeah, I would be too. I do have braid on this. I'm going to retie after this. Mm -hmm. Beat herself up, so we're not gonna weigh her. Uh, we're gonna get her back in the water. She's kind of bleeding, so she swims, lives to swim another day. There she goes. You wanna know what you look like after you catch a carp? That you just wrestled? Oh my. There's another one, man. <sighs> Where? Oh, don't nip the person. Brian is hooked up. Good, good chance we might have a double up here because the rod's getting big. Brian right, is hooked up. Here we go. We'll keep him out of that current on the left side, and when he gets close, he's going to try to run to the right. There's rods over there. Keep him out of those. What are doing? Pull that rod up to the left, to the right of me. Don't worry about breaking the rod. It's not going to break. Just pull it up to the right. So we'll go into the deck. Yep. Keep it right, keep it clean. No, 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 I'm sitting in the sun. The sun doesn't help, but it's not good. Alright, you're gonna need to go down there, dude. It's hard. Oh, he snapped off! Good fight, though. Hey. Good fight, I'm happy. I'm happy, though. You know, we, we've already caught one good one. <sighs> Man, I'm getting kind of hungry. Hey, Brian, throw me some corn. You, you missed. How did, why did you miss? We go, Brian's hooked up again. Only a matter of time. Oh, man. It's a big one, too. It feels really good. He starts running, don't reel against the drag. But if he starts going to the left, uh, you're going to have to reel against that drag and keep that rod right. Oh, wait a minute. Your rod's in the way, too, I think. Where's a good thing? No. Right over here. Get him out of those rocks. Do not let him go on those rocks, man. Reel against that. Oh, yeah. Don't let oh, him go yeah. on those rocks. 
Oh, I am. I'm trying to get you right out of the way. This is all over the damn place. Uh -oh. Yeah, you're right. You're, this shit's tender. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just gonna open the bail. Ooh, there you go, buddy. There you go. I'm crazy, man. And he's off. Oh my God, Brian! Uh -huh. What are you? What's going on? Hmm. Come on, give me that. Dan just showed up. We'll be fishing. Go check him out. He's got a good channel. We'll try to catch a carp with us. Oh yeah, should be a good time. Brian has had two big ones on. Got them right here, and they popped off. I'm trying to get him on a carp today. There we go, Brian's first. All right, Darren hooked one. Hopefully the first one. First one on my rod. Ooh, look at that fuck, too. Yeah, good one. On Keep that rod right. Walk to the right a little bit, because he's all up in that current. Hey, you have to pull him back to the other side. He's probably over on the other side by now. Don't horse him either. Don't horse him. There's a rock right there. Put it to the right. Put your rod to the right to get him on the right side of that rock. There you go. It's looking big. It hasn't came up yet. Wait, what is that? Is that a car? I think so. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's a car. Not get on that rock. Screw that. Why does that not look like a carp, though? It could be a buffalo, too. It doesn't. It looks like it's a car. Yeah, it is a car. There you go, buddy. You got the net? Yep. Hey, can you go down there and get my small mouth? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, Keep that tension on him. Put the rod to the right, to the right, Brian, to the right. Almost, almost, almost. Yes! There you go! Dan, you the man for netting it. Thank you very much. Big chunker right there. There you go. Finally, Brian lands one. Wow, this thing's heavy. <laughs> Props to a little baby fish for the net job, too, man. That would have been a pain to get that. Yeah. Uh-oh. He's bleeding, but you're good. You're good. He, I mean, he smacked it. They're hardy. Yeah. The one I had was bleeding a lot, and he bashed himself on the head and still swam away, so... I think you're good. Got a scale? No. I don't. Okay. No I have one. Scale. I feel like I'm in the house. It's like... Bring him on that flat rock behind you. Came right out. Oh. That's way car car, man. That close to losing that part. He's bringing on the flat right to see. Oh my god, look at his eyeball. What is going on? Uh -oh. Hold on, hold on, uh -oh. let me see that. It's just because of the net. It's helping. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was like bulging out every time he lies flat on the net. See that? Damn, look. look. That. <laughs> right here, I put him on the, the flat right there. Which one? This one? Yeah. And then just take him out of the net and hold him up. Actually, no, go down there. I don't think I've ever had a car. You know what? Beautiful fish. Yes, I am man. happy. First fish for Brian for 2019. Yes. 2019. Alright, you want to get that release? Release on the guy. Here we go. It's a big one too, dude. It's big. Get the big camera. Uh, you big cameras. No, just get the big camera. He's big. Oh yeah, he's big. There we go. You want boots, dude? It's big. Oh yeah, he's big. There we go. I'm going down here. There we go. Finally, it's been a while without a bite, man. He just got the leverage on something. Don't 
Don't you dare go in there. This way. It's like fit. Oh. Finally. Damn. Isn't that is a life <laughs> Yeah, to say the least. No, oh, I can see your lake park right there. Oh my goodness, this thing hooked it backwards. Wait, what? There we go. Right up. Bleeding a little bit, but he's fine. Oh. Hold him up. Alright, I'm gonna move this rod. They are pretty slimy and hard to kill. Hey, you're good, man. You're good. Slam on this. Here we go. Got a balance. Here we go. The tide came in too. We used to be able to stand on this rock. guys are wrapping up the day <laughs> there he is uh, it was pretty successful for January in carp fishing I mean that was pretty pretty insane so uh, we're gonna see if we can get out sometime soon again maybe maybe come here again I don't know but, yeah uh, see what we can do pretty uh, sure it's safe to say RIP to ice fishing that's that's gone uh, it's like this, 50 degrees right now this was one of the most interesting days I've had in January for fishing because I had to take off my jacket and my sweatshirt because it got so warm yeah. we're not I mean, you're just in a light sweatshirt. You were just wearing a t-shirt for a good yeah. while. It's that <laughs> warm. We, I, for January in Northwest Indiana, I am just shocked. But okay. yeah. Lake Michigan? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for Dan coming out. Check out his channel, Whoa Baby Fish. It'll be linked below. And uh, I think we're going to peace out here. I'm going to drop Brian off. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed.